Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Nice banner there, Sid. I guess that's his bikini goddess. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Take care! So this is disc three. And basically, if I descend that ladder, we'll go to the final area. I don't want to do that yet. There's still a few side quests we can do here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some of those. Cloud, sign this! What is it? What is it? It's a contract that says when the war is over, all the material will belong to me. It's all in there. Read it carefully and then sign it, alright? Forget it. I'm not even going to read it. Whenever I read, I get air sick. Oh, yeah? I'm the same way, so I can't say too much. Damn, my plan failed. Let's pick on Red 13 later to let off steam. <laughs> That's funny. You say, well, I think she says the same thing, Elsa, if I keep talking to her. Alright, let's go and talk to the other guys. What do you say, bud? But I ain't gonna forget, no matter what happens, not about this here trip or them folks, none of it. Well, that's great. <laughs> Time's got a way of sneaking up on you, huh? I'm shaking all over. <laughs> I feel sick. Right. Hey, Cloud, would you tell me it's all right? <laughs> you can. Just don't say it. Oh, I just can't say it that easy. I'm sorry, I guess you're right. Wow, I guess I am a little scared. My knees are trembling. Hey, Cloud, would you tell me it's all right? Or you can say it, uh, normal. It's all right. You're right. Things will be all right. There you go. Is she going to say anything else? Oh, I'm all right. Really, I'll fight my hardest. That's all. Or I could say it cool. It's all right, Tifa. <laughs> now I feel like things are really going to be all right. Thanks, Cloud. Okay. You ever see the play Loveless? No. Yeah, I figured someone like you wouldn't be on much on plays. All right, dude. Let's say I had. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's say I have seen it. Yeah, really. Well, that's fine. They've been doing that play every summer since I was a kid, and I remember seeing it just once. That was when I was in Midgar interviewing to be a pilot. I had some free time and thought I'd catch the play. Now I'm no big a fan of the theater or anything, but this thing put me to sleep just like I thought it would. Finally, during the last scene, the next guy woke up, me up telling me my snoring was too loud. So about all I really remember of that play is the end. The sister in the lead asks her lover, you really have to leave. And the guy says, I promise the people I love are waiting. I don't understand, not at all, but please take care of yourself. Of course, I'll come back to you. Even if you don't promise to wait, I'll return knowing that you'll be here. I remember thinking when I heard those lines, what the hell is he talking about? But you know, now I'm not so sure. I think I understand. You don't say anything else? When this job's done, I'm landing the ship. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's all he says. Okay. I am Nanaki, son of Sito. I am afraid of nothing. It's all right, all right. I'm Nanaki, the son of Sito. I'm not afraid of Sephiroth. You keep telling yourself, maybe one day you'll believe it. Cloud, take this ship to the Northern Cave. The time for flying is now past. Our battlefield is now beneath the earth. The gate to tomorrow is not the light of heaven, but the darkness of the depths of the earth. Poetic, and I think Vincent really just wants to get going. This is a full-fledged pilot. Cloud, what do you want to do? I want to go on. We're not going to take care of Sephiroth in this video, or in a few videos. I'm going to do a little bit of screwing around. Um, just cause. Uh, let's see. First, I'm going to go to... Um, I could have done this I could have done this earlier. Now, I think I'll go to Midgar, to Sector 5 or whatever. I like that the uh, weapon is still there. The cannon. Uh, get in there. This is how you're supposed to know to look for the key in Bone Village. This guy says, that's funny, did I drop the key to this gate somewhere? Was it when I was on that excavation tour? Well, I've got the key, so I'll just go ahead and head on in there. Yay! Uh, I think I gotta go all the way to the right. Or maybe do I gotta go all the way to the left? I can't remember. It's obviously not that way. I thought it was up in here. 
guys. It's all the way to the right. There's a few last things we can do here at uh, mid year before actually continuing. Not really a whole lot. If I can ever get there. Well, what the heck? Oh, there we go. I was just going the wrong way. Well, here's the Church of the Slums. You can actually go in here. And, hey, it's Eris! Oh my gosh, she's still alive. And disappears. It was a ghost. <laughs> They're pretty. Oh. Hey, where's the flower lady? That line makes me sad so much. Because, well, the flower lady's... She's not coming back, baby. She's, she's gone. They took her away. I'm gonna make them pay. Um, there's no point in going to uh, Eris's house because her mother's not there. But if you go to this place, these folks went off wobbling somewhere. They said something about the reunion started. It sounded almost like a chant. Wonder what the heck that meant. Yeah, this guy is no longer here. This guy are gone. Um, I guess. Uh, he went off to go by the reunion. I'm not gonna look up or down. From now on, I'm just gonna look straight ahead. Maybe not. I'm just flapping my gums. I really wonder how things will turn out. She's obviously worried about Meteor. What's going on with the world? When it's all said and done, we're all gonna wind up dead. Yeah, that's right, but even so, what could we move on to now? You've been talking like that for some time now. Yeah, whatever. There's really nothing to do here. There's one thing we can do here. Uh, it's not this. Uh... There's one thing we can do here, and that's go in here. No, it's not in here. Well, crap, where the heck is it? Oh, uh, is it in here? No, it ain't. I'll bet you it's at Walmart. Dude. So there you go. I'm, I'm going to have to go to Walmart. So, yep. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the house, which I'm going to kill in one shot. Oh, cool, our HP and MP got restored. Awesome. Alright, let's go up here. This way. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother talking to the people. I just wanna go into this item shop right in here. Remember this thing? Last time we messed with it, it tried to shoot us. Well, let's see what happens now. Receive the premium heart, which is Tifa's ultimate weapon. Uh, the way it works is um, the higher her limit gauge is the more damage she does. So the trick there is to just make sure her limit gauge is full. Give her things like uh, Death Blow and um, Mime uh, to, you know, to avoid actually using the Fight Command if you want to use her physical attacks. Uh, it's pretty good, actually. I kind of like it. Um, so yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to make... I'm going to go back to the airship. We're done here in Midgar. So I'm not going to make you watch through all this. I'm just going to... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you just how easy these guys became. There you go. So I'm not going to make you suffer through all this. I'll meet you outside of Midgar. Alright, we are back, and I put uh, Sid and Tifa into my party. Uh, they have got... Well, he's got his contain and added effect. Slash all and enemy skills. She's got all that. Cloud has got... The Knights of the Round. Oh, you're gonna get to see Knights of the Round in this video, aren't you excited? We're gonna fight an optional boss. Boss? Boss. Which is not necessarily hard, per se, but Knights of the Round will just make it less annoying. Uh, this optional boss is located... We actually saw it uh, uh, several videos ago. I can never find it. I don't remember where it hangs out. Um... I want to say towards the bridges of Utai. 
I could be wrong with it. No, this isn't where it hangs out. Where does it hang out? It hangs out... So there's Cosmo Canyon. Where the heck does this thing hang out? Dang it, now I can't remember. Crap, that's not good. I'm trying to remember where this thing is. It's in a very specific place, and I didn't pay much attention to where I was when I ran into it. Well, I didn't run into it, but when I saw it in the last video. There it is, there it is, there it is. That thing. We saw it in Disc 2. We could have, after we defeated Diamond Whip, we could have done something with it, but uh, let's go ahead and touch it now. This is Ultimate Weapon. Uh, we've been we've seen him a couple times, and he's, he's always managed to run away from us. He's gonna use Ultima Beam on us. So that's gonna hurt. Anyway, let's use Knights of the Round. Ow, that freaking really hurt. Ultimate End. Start your timer and see how long this takes. And Al. That took a long freaking time. And if I'm not mistaken, he's going to run away. Yep. Alright, now let me explain how he works. He operates a little bit like Doomgaze in uh, the previous Final Fantasy game, where you fight him and after so much HP he runs away and um, and then you can find him again and he doesn't have, well, you know, he's lost a, the same amount of HP. Like, he doesn't restore his HP, so, like, um, you know, like, like, uh, Doomgaze, you could just keep wailing on him and whittling him down until there's no HP left. The problem is, with Doomgaze was complete random encounters, with this guy it's specific encounters. Uh, you, you fight him so much and then he flies away and he goes to one different area, a specific area, I don't remember where. And then you fight him there, and then he'll go to a different area. And you fight him there, and then he goes to a different area until he's got so little HP where he ultimately go ends up in Cosmo Canyon, where you finish him off once and for good, once and for all. Problem is, it takes so long for him to get to his set areas, and I don't know how long. Like maybe I was doing it wrong or something, but it takes so freaking long for him to to get into his final his areas, and you can't fight him until he gets there. And it takes so long, but if you use Knights of the Realm, that'll take out just enough HP to where he'll just go straight to the final area, which is Cosmo Canyon. And you can go and finish him off once and for good. Once and for all. So that's why I used Knights of the Realm that time around. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my way to Cosmo Canyon. And uh, he should theoretically be there. That's an Ivalhide. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, yep, there he is. Uh, one, more, one more change i got to make. To my party. I healed up. We gotta make a change. We need to. We don't need to. I want to. Take off the enemy skill materials. Give them to Cloud. Make sure Cloud is wearing the Misteel armor. Yeah. 
That protect ring is gonna help him too. This is gonna be dangerous. I'm not now I'm not gonna chicken out the last minute. That's great. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit dangerous, but hopefully we can do this. Alright, where is he? Where is he at? Where is he at? There he is. Now he should just he's not he just take needs one more pounding. And I'm just gonna go ahead. I'd say save time, but I'm not really gonna save time. I'm gonna summon nice of the round one more time, and that should do him in. Let's get him this time. Summon Knights of the Round. Let's how's Al? Go Cloud! Ultimate end! Is that enough? Did I kill him? Or has he still got more fight left in him? I hope that killed him. Shadow Flare! That should only hit Cloud because Cloud used Knights of the Round on him. Yep. Hopefully it misses Cloud with that Misty Armor. That did miss Cloud. Good. But he learned it. It was an enemy skill. It was his final attack move. And ultimate weapon is dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Shadow Flare, it's an enemy skill. Hurts like a son of a gun, but the Misteel Armor, if you got the Misteel Armor, it tends to miss. He uses that on the final attack on whoever killed him. That's why I made sure it was Cloud. And Cloud learned it on three pieces of enemy skill material. Neatly done. We got Death Blow was born. Sweet. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I had two Death Blows this whole time. And we got Ultima Weapon! Cloud's final weapon. And as for this guy. He crashes and explodes and reshapes the landscape. And now I can, you know, land my airship down there and I can walk all the way up across this crater and all the way up into this ancient forest that we got in before, if, if you didn't feel like getting a gold chocobo. So there you go. That's just a way you can do that. A lot easier than getting a gold chocobo, too. The Knights of the Round, there's no other way to get that nut in, in, unless you've got um, a gold chocobo. So there you go. That's actually all I'm going to do in this video. Um, in the next video, we'll do some more side quests. Uh, I, don't, I don't suppose Shadow Flare is terribly important, but... Well, I, it's... Might as well learn it on three different pieces of enemy, enemy skill material. I never use it, but there you go. And yeah, Ultima Weapon, that's Cloud's ultimate weapon, obviously. Like, it's, it basically works just like Sid's weapon, or Kate Sid's weapon, where it, the more dam the more HP Cloud has, the more damage he does, if it's closer to his max HP. And it basically operates a lot like Ultima Weapon from Final Fantasy VI, so it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Cloud right now. Um, Ragnarok was great, but Ultima Weapon's better. It's sad, though, the Ragnarok, you barely use it. But there you go. Ultimo Life is just freaking awesome. And that's the... Oh, no. I don't want the Buster Sword. I said I don't want the Buster Sword. I said I want the Ultimo Life. Alright, well that's the end of this video. In the next video, we'll do some more side quests. So, uh, until then, this is 480 Volts, signing off.